Biodynamic growing is organic, with a set of techniques that are special in particular to it alone. The benefit of the biodynamic method is that it improves the quality and quantity of the produce for very little cost. The techniques must be learnt, but they make sense and work in practice. The quality of biodynamic wine is regularly catching the eye of the public at the moment. Monty Walden's television series made plain how effective biodynamics is and biodynamic wine in general has a huge profile because it has such critical acclaim. Wineries around the world are using biodynamic techniques to strengthen the terroir of their wine, its capacity to express the individuality of the vineyard, their capacity to make a living. The biodynamic calendar is even being used for wine tasting because wine is sold in greater quantities when it's tasted on fruit days. This simple graph shows how the biodynamic planting calendar can make a profound difference to the productivity of the crop. In wheat, it is the seed or fruit part of the plant that we consume and in this experiment the productivity of the crop was enhanced by around 30% when it was planted on a fruit day. These practical benefits for the consumer and grower are in addition to the environmental benefits of biodynamic growing. Self-sustaining farms with extremely low or zero inputs and the continual generation of soil humus which of course locks up carbon. There are basically three extra techniques used by the biodynamic grower in addition to a sound organic system. The first is the field sprays which are made from cow manure and silica transformed by the life processes that work through the material as it is stored underground in a cow's horn. Sprayed on the land after being mixed in water, these substances support the biosphere in making the best use of water and warmth. The second concerns compost, which is important for building humus and increasing fertility. Biodynamic growers always compost their manure, and they add to the compost preparations made from the common herbs like yarrow, dandelion and nettle. These preparations encourage the biology of the compost so that it becomes more efficient at delivering the chemical nutrition the plants require to achieve a high quantity of high quality crops. Finally, the biodynamic grower works in tune with the rhythms of the sun and moon. The seasons are always a huge factor in any farmer's life, but the living organisms of the soil and farm are sensitive to many natural rhythms and the biodynamic planting calendar, created from experimental science, allows the grower to make the most of this natural sensitivity. Hospitals around the country make sure their A&E departments are well staffed when the moon is full, so perhaps this isn't as surprising as we might think. The biodynamic system works with the physical world of the farm from the perspective of the life processes. There are billions of organisms living in every field and they are constantly transforming matter through their life cycles, which directly and indirectly feed the plants and animals that directly feed us. In 1924, the Green Revolution, today's conventional farming techniques based on applying vast quantities of chemicals to the land, was just getting started. We know now that this technology has serious drawbacks and is not sustainable, but in 1924, another agriculture system was devised without those drawbacks. That was when biodynamics was born. The biodynamic system views soil as being basically alive and works to promote and guide that life. Back in 1924, scientific techniques could not see small enough to discover the truth of this, but modern microbiologists can. Scientists today are amazed how incredibly complex and subtle the web of life, or food web, is. There is a sense of wonder and awe. It is clear that the food web, by its very name, is important to agriculture, but it is so complex and subtle that agriscience is at something of a loss to know how to implement the traditional techniques of adding and killing in this situation. However, the biodynamic techniques bypass this problem by delegating the management of the soil to the life processes within the field sprays compost preparations and the natural rhythms of nature. For the human being, techniques which are new require time to learn and understand. However, this life system beneath our feet as we walk our fields 
is so extraordinary, so well organised, that working with it rather than against it is profoundly satisfying. Once understanding begins and the first steps are taken, this technology ceases to feel strange and quickly becomes normal. Experienced biodynamic practitioners often talk in terms of the spirit because biodynamic science gives the two aspects of life, the physical and the intangible, equal importance. It is consciously working with life, fully working with life in this way that gives the biodynamic system its edge, its advantage. That is why with such little fuss and in such a self-contained and quiet way, biodynamic produce achieves such high quality and has now become the cutting edge of the organic market.